Hey, I'm Dave, and this is How to 3D Print with Nylon. I absolutely love printing with nylon. All the other materials, PLA, ABS, PETG, they're all, they're all great, but there's no material I love printing with more than nylon. That is because it has some of the best material properties. This is a, a little hinge that's printed in a nylon that just snaps. It's got stiffness in the right spots, flexibility in all the right spots. It's, it's really a magical material. So PLA sometimes can be a little brittle. You leave it in your car, you may get end up with a warpy, melty thing at the end. ABS lacks some of the durability and even some of the strengths. And that's really where nylon comes into the picture. It has, it has everything you need in a 3D printed, really strong, really usable part. What do we know nylon from just day to day? Well, a lot of the tools that we use are have nylon cases. Um, many of the plastic gears in any RC cars or anything like that are all plastic meshed gears. Uh, made from nylon. Even really strong things, uh, textiles like tents and kites all have that nylon woven fabric and rope. It holds a boat next to a dock, so it's got to be strong, right? It's really known nylon as a very durable, strong, and even more so versatile material. Because of its strong layer adhesion, especially in, in plastic printed parts, things get really, really strong. You can, it's great for printing living hinges and functional parts. Um, even 3D printed gears are often made from nylon. That's because of the low coefficient of friction. Durability, once they're out in the elements, is really great. It's got that high glass trans transition temperature, which means you need a little bit higher temperatures to print it, but that's not too big of a deal. Let me tell you a little bit on how to get started with printing with nylon. So there are really only three things to know to be successful when 3D printing with nylon. First, the right temperature to print at. Second, filament must be dry, and thirdly, how to prevent warping. So let's go through all those three things. First, let's start with why you might need an all-metal hot end. So PTFE hot ends, hot ends that use plastic as the heat break, can really only go up to about 240 degrees C before they uh, off-gas into poisonous gases. Let's just keep it simple as that. So all-metal hot ends that are engineered for those higher temperatures can go up to even 300, 310, some of them even much higher if you've got the right measurement tool for measuring the temperature. And nylon prints at about 260 to 280 degrees. And that's right in the wheelhouse where all metal hot ends are really awesome. The most important thing to succeed when printing with nylon is to know that it needs to be dry. Why does it need to be dry? Well, nylon on its own is very hygroscopic. That means as it's sitting here, it's actually collecting moisture from the air. Some nylons up to 10% of their weight can actually be in water that's trapped between the molecules of the nylon. So how do you know if your nylon is wet? While you print with it, you'll actually see the explosions, the little steams coming off of that water boiling out at that high temperatures. The surface of your parts will be very textured, even bubbly and dimply like that. When it is dry, it prints buttery smooth and has a really glossy finish. Really great finish when it's dried. The best way to dry it is to put it in an oven for about two hours prior to printing it. After it is dry, make sure you keep it in a sealed container with desiccant. If you're starting with really wet material, something where you don't know where it's been, or maybe it's been out for quite some, a long time, you may have to use the oven for a little bit longer of a time. Next, you need to know that nylon can warp. To mitigate any of this warping, we use an 80 degree C bed and a PVA glue stick. A very thin layer of that glue stick works really well. In between prints, you can actually use a wet paper towel to redistribute that glue stick evenly amongst the bed. If you don't have a heated bed, Garolite actually is a really great option. Use the same glue stick and the same methods. Do not be afraid to print with nylon. It really is one of the most awesome materials and some of the strongest parts that I've ever used. And, and I love printing with nylon. It's so awesome. If you're looking for something even stronger, check out Nylon X. It's got chopped fiber in with the nylon. Really increases the strength. And I have a detailed article that I'll link in the description below that goes through all of these things and even more. To get started printing with nylon, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.